Hi, my name is Kat Flynn. I'm represented by the Jonathan Ferrara Gallery. I'm part of the artist takeover of their social media. I'm an assemblage artist. By that, I mean I use artifacts in my work to tell my stories. The next couple of days, I would like to show you my new work, but today I'd like to show you around my studio and talk about some of my artifacts. The first piece I'd like to show you is a Soviet era war toy. It shoots wooden bullets. I got it recently from Belarus, had trouble with the international shipping because of the pandemic. These are a lot of uh, religious artifacts, great old confessional. These are part of a set of vestments I bought from a priest who was leaving the church because he was getting married. The piece over there, the artifact, is an old Modest, Modest machine. I bought it from a gas station that was going out of business. It was in their restroom. I often work on multiple pieces at one time. So I built these vignettes all around my studio and my home. This piece here is just about finished. I just need to add the roof. It's, this is called Visitors. It's a baseball dugout. I often use baseball as a metaphor for America, so I surrounded the piece with a bunch of anti-immigrant graffiti. I made it out of a child's bench. I often deconstruct old objects and reconstruct them into my sets. And yes, I do find room to work in here. And the pieces I'm showing you are all works in progress. Some I'll finish, some I won't. The artifacts over there is a wonderful old carnival carousel backdrop. I have Adam and Eve taking a little nap in front of it till I need them. <clears throat> the piece on the wall, the artifacts are a 1960s peace flag and on it is a t-shirt, an original t-shirt from Woodstock worn by security. The artifact up there on the far wall is an original nurse's uniform from the 1918 pandemic. I'd like to take a moment to talk about my process. It's in three steps. The first step, I acquire the artifacts or make them. The second step is I build my stages. And the third step is I assemble my artifacts on those stages for my finished art. That's stage, those three stages. This is stage one today, the artifacts. The, under my chop saw over there is a curious set of wood teeth next to some artifacts that belong to Hank Moreno from the, the winner of the 1953 Kentucky Derby. My work often resembles folk art, and I try to use folk art in my work. This is a wonderful old toy train, probably made by someone's father. I have a duplicate of it that I used in a piece which I'll show you tomorrow. I use racist artifacts in my work. For example, this souvenir dinner bell, these were sold in plantation gift shops. My work asks the question, what kind of society are we that we think it's okay to trivialize the horrors of slavery? The piece on the end is an old child's wood fort. It deals with Trump's obsession with border walls. And lastly, I'd like to show you a finished piece. This is built out of a 7-Up bottling case. I built it into a bus bench and I peopled it with a wonderful old artifact that's a marionette and he's holding a great brass toy trumpet. He's looking over his shoulder at a young man who's a wood carving. He's holding the earth. The young man has a horrified look on his face. I'm going to call it the balls in your court. Thanks for dropping by. Tomorrow I would like to show you some of my new work and talk a little more about the artifacts.
Day one, short stories by Cat Flynn. Hi, my name is Kat Flynn. Welcome to day two of the Jonathan Ferrara Gallery artist takeover of their social media. Yesterday, I gave a virtual tour of my studio, and today I would like to show you some of my new assemblage sculptures. First, I'd like to take a minute to tell you again about my process. First, I have an idea, then I hunt for artifacts, if I can't find them, I build them. Then I build the set. And lastly, I put my artifacts on the set to tell my story. Today I would like to emphasize how artifacts reinforce my stories. The first piece I'd like to talk about is incarceration. It's a visual pun, can be in slang for jail. Young black men in our society are incarcerated way out of proportion to their numbers. In this piece, I used eight identical racist Dancing Dan wood toys because in the eyes of society and the police, these men are viewed not as individuals, but as stereotypes. The cans I used to reinforce the pun are bait cans. I soldered them together and aged them. Sometimes the piece, the artifacts I use are obvious. In this case, I build a bench out of a black and white uh, checkerboard, and I use that to emphasize the black and white cultural theme. This piece comes together when I put the apartment for rent sign on the top. The next work, the artifact, is not as obvious. This piece is called Beyond the Wall. It's about our immigration policies along the southern border with Mexico, policies that have an undercurrent of racism. The artifact is a wood cutout of a figure resembling a Mexican man. In reality, it's actually a racist carnival baseball toss target. The, to win the prize, you throw a ball at his head. This piece on the ground here is called Asylum. It's about the refugee crisis around the world. I painted faces on fireplace bellows because the refugee crisis fans the flames of an explosive situation. Tomorrow, I would like to show you my wall objects. Thanks for dropping by.
day two, short stories by Cat Flynn. Hi, I'm Kat Flynn. Welcome to day three of the Jonathan Ferrara Gallery Social Media Takeover. Today I would like to continue to talk about my, how I use artifacts in my work. And I'd like to focus on some of my new pieces, which I call wall objects. The first piece I'd like to talk about I call Southern Bells. The artifacts are 15 vintage dinner bells sold at plantation gift shops. When I first thought about this piece, I thought that finding the artifacts would be difficult, but it was surprised, they're surprisingly plentiful for racist artifacts. The set, I built a dilapidated plantation house out of an old corner cabinet this piece is part of a series I call Historical Racism. The next artwork I call Stop Police. The artifacts are pretty straightforward. The tin squad car, number 77, that's the precinct in South Central LA. The wood cutout of the policeman is an old yard sign. And the runner is a racist Dancy Dan wood toy. He's running on a wood paddle. For the set, I built an inner city stage and I peopled it with small wood carvings. The next piece is part of an Im my immigration series. I call it Hop Ching. The artifacts are pretty interesting. The major one in the front is a wood carving of a caricature of a Chinese man. The trade cards are racist jokes about Chinese people. They were business cards in their day. And the wood train set on the bottom is a piece of folk art. I use it because Chinese immigrants were vital to building the Transcontinental Railroad. For the set, I used a Chinese checkerboard and I framed it with old toy train tracks. The next piece is a baseball piece. I chose to talk about it because I really like the artifacts. The bat is an old primitive, handmade, without a lot of carpentry skills or tools. The ball also is handmade and very worn. The photographs, the top photographs are a picture of young men with their ball and bats it is sitting in a cow pasture and below it is a photograph taken a couple years later of young men sitting in front of their B-24 bomber during World War II. The piece at the bottom is a folk art wood carving of a B-24 bomber spiraling out of control. The set 
I used a old wood toolbox. This next piece, um, I found this old abacus and I used it as the centerpiece. It's an immigration counting game, or I made it into an immigration counting game. It's part of my immigration series. I'd like to, th to thank the Jonathan Ferrara Gallery for this opportunity to talk about my art. Thank you. Day three, short stories by Cat Flynn.